Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and probably I should shave. Anyhow, today I will show you my way, the best I found so far, way to install a battery on a quadcopter. Right? And also I will answer the question, do I need a battery strap? Before we proceed, yes, no matter what you're gonna do, you probably will need always a battery strap because no matter how fancy way of mounting the battery on top of a quad or below the quad you will figure out, it will fail during the crash. So to fly, no, probably you don't really need a battery strap, but for your battery not to fly away during a crash and not to destroy the cables, PDB and stuff like that, you probably always gonna need it. There are many possible solutions to securely install the battery on a quad, like use a Velcro. Not so bad, not so bad, not so good, because Velcro, let's be honest, it's not very, uh, very resistant. You can use some kind of sponges like this sponge I got with my rooster. There will be a separate video about this. So this uh, creates a friction so the battery doesn't move and then a strap uh, on top of it. Mm, I'm not the biggest fan of the solution. Uh, you can use some kind of gel. I have something called Kyosho gel or something like that, but I'm not really using that. And there is a perfect and by perfect i mean really really good solution that it's called 3m dual lock 3m dual lock is almost like a velcro almost because it's not really a velcro it's 100 percent plastic and you can see there are stems coming out of the plastic uh, if i have this installed over this over this i connect them works right then of course you can separate it connect separate connect separate connect the manufacturer 3m states that you can do it up to 1000 times okay why not maybe you can do it up to 1000 times but the best thing about this this 3m dual lock is that it's it's really tough because of course you can separate it if you want to you just have to pull but it creates a very strong lock on the on the axis of 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 the installment no matter how you do it so when you do something like this i take a quad get let's get through it i snap the battery on you can see it's it's there it's not moving then I additionally secure it with a lipo strap like this and I guarantee if you will not hit a concrete at 100 kilometers or miles per hour it will probably stay in place. Since I'm using 3M dual locks I really I don't remember that during a crash the battery flew away with a cable or anything like that it can move yeah because this is everything can move it's it's after all it's re at that reattachable but it creates so much resistance during the movement that this probably will really really survive as long as the strap will be able to hold it in this axis nothing nothing bad should happen i'm using this for two maybe even slightly more than two years and it's really the best way to mount a battery on the quad period if you would like to buy this magical solution the link uh, not the link the link to the specification and the name of the product is in the description there are no affiliate links besides the regular general one it it comes in three yes it comes in three variants with 175 250 and 400 stems per square square inch yes per square inch i'm using uh, 250 version and 400 version they create the strongest lock but the difference is not that big so go for 250 or 400 you'll be you will be really really very pleased with the results 
that's all for today thanks for watching until the next one ciao